All this stuff's getting heavy. I'll dump what I don't need. Okay, so we got rid of our inventory. Everyone's favorite journalist reporter, Amy Rose, is hot on the scoop. I'm heading out. You've been fabulously helpful. Already? Before you go, that's when I wanted to give you your presents. My presents? You're both too sweet, thank you. Hmm, Vector, it seems we have more guests. Amy, there you are. You found any leads yet? Oh, the detective pair needs help from the birthday girl? Ah, she knows everyone's allowed to be sassy on their birthday. This tip is just too juicy to ignore. I'll see you all around. Don't worry, Sonic. I'll be the one to avenge you, and quick. But how are you gonna leave? The door to the next car is locked. Oh, you doubt the birthday girl? The birthday girl has a master key. Right, right. The birthday girl gets the birthday key. Of course, it's a birthday privilege. I'll solve this case for anyone else. Bye! Amy may be hasty, but she's thorough. Now, what are you two doing? Looking mighty suspicious, I say. I'm the detective, so I can't be the murderer. And I'm, uh... <laughs> here to ask if anyone's hungry. <laughs> yep. Starved! I'd kill for a chicken parmesan right about now. Maybe kill isn't the right language to use right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Vector, the butcher. I'm, oh, no. Oh. I was about to burn. <laughs> the chicken oh. parm is hitting me hard, SBO! <laughs> oh, my goodness. Ah, oh, feeling good. Thank you for the raid, Tofinator Streams. <laughs> I'm Vector, the butcher. I'm licensed to handle raw meat. And I'm Espio, the poet. Ah, poetry. A, re a resonant message from poet to reader, meant to challenge our delicate perspectives with the most rhythmic of prose. Of pose. Prose. Is it not prose? I thought it was pose. P-R-O-S-E spells prose. But I'm pretty sure it's pronounced pose. That doesn't make sense. No, 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 no. Hold up. I'm going to prove you wrong. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Prose. Okay, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> pose. Zero, when he forgets about the English language. Pros. He just doesn't know how to speak all of a sudden. I thought that... No, no, no. Because there's some words that don't fucking follow the rules. So... Yeah, but you'd think you'd know that one if that Shut was up. the case. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. You're stupid. You're stupid. stupid. <laughs> I think you're stupid. Can I hear some? Sure. Uh, Teardrops in the spring. Can you hear me sing? <gasps> la 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 la. Dee 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 dee. Was that it? I have more if you like. Cherry blossoms in the spring. I'm, uh, satisfied for now. Thanks. At least he's rhyming, I suppose. <laughs> Zero and I are here to establish both of your alibis. Can you walk us through what happened after, a after Amy had everyone leave the dining car? Oh, sure. It's simple. We just explained this to Amy, actually. We were all sent off. Rouge, Blaze, Shadow, and Sonic all passed through the li this library car. Where Amy told me an Espio to stay. I promptly picked the book off the shelf and made myself comfortable. Vector got bored, so he left to see what Knuckles was up to in the saloon car. Yup! Where was Rouge? We happened to see her lipstick stain on a cup on the, at the saloon car. Rouge came over to the library car, seemingly looking for something. And she went to search the saloon car. She came back shortly after. We heard her shout, No way! at the brochure stand over there. So she left back to the casino car before Shadow came through and locked the door. Wonder what she found. She's obviously been on the hunt for something. After Rouge left, Shadow walked through the casino car. Then entered the library car and locked the door behind him. More importantly, why has Shadow been locking doors? I like how I guess we don't have to interrogate them. They seem to just be telling us all the truth. They're just uh, telling us the truth. And these guys aren't, aren't afraid or don't want to hide it. Shadow walked through the library car to the saloon car where Knuckles and I were playing games. He insisted on showing us up at Super Monkey Ball. 
<laughs> I got so engrossed by the rolling monkey action, I hardly noticed when Shadow left the saloon car. This game is an advertisement for Super Monkey Ball. <laughs> really, that's it's all it's just one big advertisement for it. <laughs> I guess he walked through the library car to the casino car, again locking the door behind him. Then returned to the lounge car, where he was meant to be stationed. When Vector came back, we realized Knuckles locked the door to the saloon car. We were stuck in the library car. That's when the train sped up! We were worried about the bookshelves falling on us, but we got through it all right. We sat trapped here until Amy arrived asking questions. She's the one that told us someone murdered Sonic. And yeah, that's all that happened. Hmm. All these locked doors, it seems Vector and Espio couldn't have left the library car or the saloon car. Thank you both for your cooperation. We're just gonna peek around and we'll return with any questions. If you return with any meat, I'll chop it up for you. Oh. If you'd like to be serenaded with a poem, I've got you covered too. Thanks, guys. Their alibi seems solid enough, but we still search for clues. What we're looking for is any evidence that proves what they're saying is true. We need to confirm Vector's reason for leaving his post and determine if Espy was actually in the library car reading. Actually, in the library car reading. It's all task, but we can do it. Let's get to the bottom of this, Tails. Absolutely. Alright. Espio's a better poet than anybody in DDLC. That's not even true. That's literally not even <laughs> true. Espio's po Espio's poem ended with la la d la la da la 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 d d d. MC's poems are better than his. Uh, I was like, I don't even think that's true. Right, we got an investigator. Chow hangs precariously from a tree branch. Large text below reads, hang in there. Wow, I really needed to see this. <laughs> <laughs> Making fun of the inspiration. Yeah. You see it everywhere, and you look at it, and you're like, who, who is getting actually inspired by this? Tails is. This little Chow's hanging there, refusing to use his wings to fly to safety, because choosing the hard <laughs> way is often the most rewarding. That's beautiful. If this Chow can stick to his principles and find strength, then I can too. Okay. There's no way there was that much thought put into this poster. <laughs> right? There was no. not. Also, yeah, there's that's apparently Ian Jr. on the left. That's the Sonic Forces OC. <laughs> what? That's Ian Jr. The, the cat? No, the Sonic Forces, the picture. The Sonic yeah, Forces like little... character. That's not like a cat. Little... I don't know what that is. It just has a, he has a hat. <laughs> it looks like Zonic. <laughs> okay, but Zonic wasn't even a cat. He was a hedgehog. Yeah, I know. It just it looks really weird and low quality. Yeah, I was like, can't tell what it is. Like cat. Think for the sub red worm. Ian Jr. All right, let's investigate. Uh, oh, the hand, the, the, the train again. Oh, poor thing. That arm is really struggling cleaning up this car. To be fair, I wouldn't want to clean up all this mess either. Let's just leave it alone and let it do it. And let it do its thing. Yeah, probably for the best. No, I want to help him. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's gonna be there. Something's gonna be there. Something's always hidden in the trash. Let's check there. I hate to say it, but there's nothing here. Ah. There's going to be. I really thought there'd be something there. <laughs> Zero. Are you sad? There was nothing in the trash bin. Yes. No, no, I'm all right. <laughs> I'm sure, uh, I'm sure there'll be something hidden in the next trash bin we find. You really think so? <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, we just gotta stay optimistic. Yeah, yeah, okay. These trash bins hide a secret. I'm sure of it. <laughs> Zero, oh. you're pretty unconventional, but I like it. Was that supposed to be a compliment? <laughs> Imagine if, like... If they just did it, and this is just a stupid gag. We there stand was nothing Ian in the trash Jr. Gag. We do stand Ian Jr. It's just a stupid <laughs> trash gag. No, it's gonna be something. I mean, maybe, but... <laughs> I uh, imagine. let's just take a pause and sit for a second. These chairs are really comfy. So plush. Puts me right in the mood to read. It makes me want to take a nap, personally. In fact, maybe I'll rest my eyes for a bit. Zero, no! Don't fall asleep! There's been a murder, remember? 
I had a ring for every time a murder ruined my nap time. What the, how many will we have? <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. So many books on the ground. I wish we had time to pick them all up. No. I sadly have no interest in picking up these books. A lot of these were knocked down out by the train speeding up. But Rouge pulled a lot of these out too, searching for something. What reckless behavior. I feel sorry for the poor books. The spines are creasing. They're opening too far. This kid feels empathy for everything. <laughs> Ooh, brochures! These, there are travel destination ideas here. Like amusement parks, caverns, hotels, restaurants. Oh! Zero, look at this. There's a couple maps here. This seems to be a map of the library car. The books are categorized by genre, which are listed here. I love a good overhead map. Let's take it. Library map. Should we take this brochure about a cave, too? Look, there's... What the fuck? What What is that? Stalactites. Stalactites. I don't know. I didn't know how to say it. I knew the word. I just didn't know how to say it. Like, if someone asked me what was that word mean, I'm like, yeah, like little rocks. But I don't know how to say it. It was like it was like hurting. Stalactites. Oh. It was like hurting my head. I was like, how the fuck do you say I Like, my brain could not say that word. It was like, what is this? Developing a headache from trying to pronounce the word stalactite. My brain didn't actually hurt. It was just like, what the fuck? Am I having a stroke? It was It was like, no. Look, <laughs> there's the lactites. Nah, leave it. Oh, <laughs> that's fair. Nobody shares my fondness for caves. <laughs> he's pretty cool, Who honestly. is this guy? <laughs> what is he yeah, I don't know. This is caves? like a nothing character who like has a lot of personality behind so everything. I love him I love him so much. It's like a nothing character, but he's so good. He has a lot of personality behind whatever the fuck this is. And we're never gonna see it. A globe of our marvelous planet. I haven't traveled around much. The islands are fun and all, but I'd love to visit some of the countries. They're a lot of fun, honestly. Plenty of wonderful people and shops. The food can't be beat either. Ah, sounds perfect for a vacation. The conductor was talking about Spagonia, if you've never been there. I have, Spagonia. actually. Hmm? Spaghetti. Oh, he mentioned Professor Pickle! Let's go! <laughs> Professor Pickle reference! This game is now the best. <laughs> I have, actually. If you're, ever visiting, if you're ever visiting, be sure to stop at the university and say hi to Professor Pickle. He'll tell you everything about the area and make, makes one scrumptious sandwich. Well, keep that in mind. Thanks. This group knows everyone that has been everywhere. Haven't they? <laughs> wow! I wish I could stop and look at all these books. But Sonic needs me. No time to rest. Alright, let's move on then. Well, I mean, the little peak wouldn't hurt. He's scavenging through all the book titles, titles excitedly. He's like a kid in a candy shop. In this case, a genius in a train library. <laughs> That's odd. I know some books have fallen out on the floor and everything, but every book on these shelves is in alphabetical order, but this one. It's the user's guide to the Mirage Express, the train we're currently on. You think someone found it on the ground and put it back? Maybe, but it is interesting. Let's make a note of this. Mirage Express manual is added to your inventory. Alright, so we have the manual now. Oh my god, it's a picture of Professor Pickle. <laughs> they won't let me see him. Show me Professor Pickle! <laughs> no. He's copyrighted. They can't use him. Uh, I guess we could try talking to Vector. Did you bring me any meat to chop? I may be no. a butcher, but they confiscated my meat cleaver before getting on the train. You oh, actually yeah. tried to bring a knife on the train? <laughs> I'm a man of authenticity, Tails. Without a knife, I'm just a chef in a ketchup-stained apron. Not a butcher. I think if you had a knife on you, we'd definitely think you were the murderer. Hmm. But what if I hid the knife? You know, I'm not the biggest fan of this line of thought. <laughs> <laughs> but what if I hid the knife? 
Or what if I hit it? Mm, what if I hit it and then killed Sonic and hit him in the computer room? <gasps> Not helping your case. Let's talk to him. Oh, okay, never mind. Okay, it's the same thing you already, you already said. I mean, I don't, do, do we have? I don't think we have enough information. Let's talk oh. to Espio. Fancy a poem? Uh, oh, we can ask him poem about trains. <laughs> oh! Oh my God! Look at the little like chows. Yeah, the little chows. Locomotive in motion. I think I lost my lotion. The window shows the ocean. Oh wait, there's my lotion. <laughs> Bravo! Beautiful! 10 out of 10! <laughs> thank you, SPO. He sure did it. Uh, thanks. I actually really like that one. Huh? <laughs> huh? <laughs> Let's get one about space. I've made it up to space with my beloved antique face, but a mistake in my haste. Drop the vase from my embrace, so my antique I no. must now replace. That one's actually pretty good. I like that one. <laughs> what caused you to drop the vase? Don't read too deeply. It's just a poem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he hasn't know. thought it through, has he? <laughs> <laughs> I like how he says, don't read too deeply. It's just a poem. That was the point of poems, SPO. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't read deeply into it. It's a poem. Don't read too deeply into it. All right, I think we have. I think we have all the information. The only information. The oh, K Chaos Cola. Check out our book club. Book of the month. Gone gal. Gone gal. I think. I think it's time. I guess we. I mean, all we really have is Mirage Express Manual and a map. Oh, it's a map where all the books go. Wait, could we put the books up now? Oh, never mind. Because like, we have a map where they go. We, can we help him? We have a map for him now. No! Alright, well, I guess we can interrogate them. I mean... Okay, we don't then. I figured, maybe. Maybe I haven't truly seen everything. Uh, we have to really look around. Oh, what's this? Big book. What's this bright red book? Oh, yuck. This reeks of the evil scientist, Dr. Eggman. Yep, this is Dr. Eggman's auto autobiography and recipe book. <laughs> recipe book? My man owns a recipe book? What kind of recipes? Who cares? I don't trust a book he's written. It's weird this is even here. Maybe right people just appreciate an omelet. You may not be wrong. Well, we can learn. Th th that's not evidence? <laughs> Eggman's recipe book wasn't evidence. <laughs> I don't know. That proves that Eggman writes. That's evidence right there. I don't know what you guys are talking about. We can interrogate Espy. I mean, we just can't interrogate Hector. All right, never mind them. No, I didn't mean to click you. Get out of here! Well, that's the door. Right? Is it the door? Oh, we can leave. Oh. Yeah, I do believe we should. Shadow's lock is added to your inventory. I think we found enough clues. Let's go interrogate Vector and Espio to find out what really happened. Okay. Now we can interrogate them. We had to get Shadow's lock. What the hell? <laughs> How would I know to click on the door? It's time. Hey, yo, he cooking? He cooking. He cooking omelets, bro. <laughs> yeah, up here cooking the omelets. So, the two of you the two of you don't believe us, eh? It's not that I don't trust either of you, but I wouldn't be a proper detective without examining the validity of your alibis. Zero and I are here to confirm two things. Why Vector left to go play games at Knuckles, and if SBO really was reading in the library car. Vector, we'll start with you. Why did you leave the library car to visit Knuckles? We're prepared to present evidence if need. Oh, that's easy. I got bored. <laughs> what? I wasn't entertaining him enough, it seems. Vector enjoys being social. 
Plus, we were instructed to mingle. I remember the arcade machine in the saloon car, so I figured I'd go check it out. It seems to line up with the information we gathered with Knuckles. That brings our attention to you, Espio. Rouge entered the library car, found something, then left. You said you immediately started reading, but were you actually reading the entire time you were in the library car? Of course he was! Once Espio starts reading, he doesn't stop till he's done. I've seen it happen. It must have been a good read. What was the book? Oh <laughs> no, was it Dr. Eggman's autobiography? <laughs> My man was definitely reading Dr. Eggman's autobiography. You know damn well he was reading it. Espio doesn't owe you that, detective. Let the man live. What if it was embarrassing? <laughs> what kind of things do you think I read? If you won't talk, I have a hunch on what book that might be. Zero, could you help me out? Alright, what book do you think I may have been reading? My man was reading... What? Can I not pick up Dr. Eggman's... Could I... No, that, that would have been Eggman's book. What? Is this? <laughs> really? The manual? How would this be embarrassing? A manual? You think Espio was reading instructions? What argument could you possibly have to support this? Uh, well, you see, uh, let me just uh, pull out my game gear real quick. So, uh, I think that Espio really likes manuals. Oh shit, that was a bait spring. Oh, uh, they're starting to give me some different freaking. What? Oh. Oh my gosh! Espio's throwing ninja stars at me! Ow! Let's go! Espio's trying to fight my logic with ninja stars. At first, I had to look at that little head thing, uh, the Sonic's little head up there. I thought it was the, uh, the fucking thing for Sonic, the, sto the fucking, um, I was gonna say stock icon. The life icon for Sonic Advance, but I guess stock icon works too. There are books scattered around the floor, sure, but the remaining book books on the shelves were all in alphabetical order. All except this manual. Meaning someone, at the very least, picked the manual up and put it back in the correct play incorrect place. This lack of attention to detail isn't normally like you, SPL. Hey now! I won't have you insulting my pal like that! Calm down, Vector. I know you mean well, but I can handle myself. Apologies, SPL. A butcher and a poet. Friendship can form anywhere. They just forgot about Charmy, too. I guess they didn't invite Charmy because Charmy would not be able to follow instructions well enough to be a part of this. <laughs> that is indeed the book I was reading. The Mirage Express Manual. Trains are cool. <laughs> In that case, we'd like to ask you a few questions about the manual. Zero, if you don't mind. Could you ask Eskvio some questions about the manual? Just flip to a page and ask away. Oh, I see. Quiz Espio about the manual to prove he read it. Page should I quiz him on? Uh, page 14. <laughs> okay, um, what efficient and extremely accurate technology was installed to assist in keeping the train spotless? Robotic arms. During events, they can perform a variety of tasks and are responsible for cleaning up trash and messes afterwards. I remember the conductor saying the train can clean itself. Though I have a feeling the train com company just didn't want to hire any janitors. The robotic arms can also detect weapons or explosives being brought onto the train, ensuring passenger safety. Seems like Espio aced that question. Zero, hit him with another one. Okay. Espio, I'm gonna hit you with a uh, page 15. Where's the Mirage Express's cancellation policy? No refunds, you'll be charged a no show fee. This does not apply if you're over the age of 65. Gee, the person who made this rule must have not been over- It must have been over- It must have been over 65. <laughs> Last one, Zero. Let's see if SPO can go three for three. All right. My man's gonna be hit with page four- Page 16. <laughs> Just go a page next. He may have read page 15. But did he read oh. page 16, chat? Hello, we're interrogating SPO. About if he actually did read the train manual. <laughs> what was implemented to support the conductor duties and ease general train obligations? 
an intelligent data, data processing system. It works in tandem with the conductor to ensure smooth travel for guests. I remember this. The train has an autopilot. It can't access its full suite of capabilities without the conductor present. Now, did I pass your little test? No! <laughs> yes. No! I hate to say it, but no! <laughs> Just goofing. You pass. <laughs> Just, you can just be an asshole for no reason. Oh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, I'm just kidding. When I completed your test with ease. All my efforts were only to please. But you joked and japed. Said no to my face. Now I wish you were riddled with fleas. <laughs> oh. oh! Wow, oh. okay. That's just a little mean. Did you just rhyme a curse at me? <laughs> <laughs> You've clearly read the manual. Those answers feel far too specific to be guesses. And you both have the nerve to question my buddy like that. Don't we want to be? Don't we want to be supporting folks who read? <laughs> yeah, I have to admit though, reading the entire time a murder occurred does sound a bit suspicious, even if true. But he answered all my questions so calmly. It's very impressive. No, no, I understand everyone's cautious attitudes. Vector was the only one to see me reading, after all. My alibi is hard to sub. sub, sub Substan substantiate. Substantiate. Okay, see, to be fair, that one, I just, I don't hear people say substantiate that much. That's why I'm the leader. What? That's why I'm the leader. Mm. Alibi is hard to substantiate, despite being the truth. Well, you definitely read through the manual, so I suppose we can... Espio, is that true? Vector was the only one to see you reading? Yes, that's correct. Problem? <laughs> Problem? Ooh, yeah, this is a problem. Problem? Frankly... Fucking I, idiot. <laughs> frankly, I don't believe that can be true. And we have evidence to back it up. Zero? <laughs> he always puts me on the spot. <laughs> okay, Zero, thanks. What do you want? Should I have a piece of evidence linked to someone who also saw SBO reading? Shadow's lock! That shows that Shadow had to be here. Shadow's lock? Please, pray tell. What this has to do with anything? We're up, Zero. Let's get our argument together. Think. Think. Why that the DDLC fucking colored? <laughs> Why well, color like DDLC text, bro? Everything's DDLC to this man. No, they literally was because it was like it had the, like it the comes. color. It had the stroke with like the kind of like it was like a similar esque pink, bro. Zero when he sees pink and white together. <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> On text, yes. <laughs> ah! Bro, they You're going at me this time, my lord! Have you lost? Have you gotten hit yet? I've gotten hit before, but I never lost this. It, you didn't? You, did you like lose all your rings when you got hit? Oh, I actually didn't check if I lose all of them or not. I know I lost rings. I don't know if it was all of them though. Okay. Shadow walked through the library car to get to the saloon car where he set the original high score on the arcade machine. Why is Tails always the one coming to the conclusion and I'm the one playing the game? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I ended up beating it. It wasn't the high score long. Crocs are natural gamers. Espio said he saw Shadow enter the library car, but he's mentioned nothing about Shadow's return. He only mentions that Vector came back. When Shadow left Knuckle, it was Shadow left Knuckles and Vector in the saloon car. Espio was fully seated, reading his book for a good while at this point. <laughs> we know Shadow had to walk back through the library car when he left the saloon car. So there's absolutely no way Shadow and Espio didn't notice one another on Shadow's return trip. Uh, I mean, it was a simple slip-up. I was just fully immersed in my book that I didn't notice Shadow. You're telling me the sound of doors opening and locking wouldn't have caused you to look up? Well, I, uh, you see... I can sense Espio's desperation here. Defending the argument that he was reading the entire time isn't easy. So if you didn't see Shadow returning from the saloon car to lock all the doors, then at that moment, were you really in the library car at all? But how would Espio leave? Shadow locked all the doors and no one saw Espio in the saloon car. It's a mystery, my dear Zero. One that I would love for Espio to solve. You gotta believe me. 
My cool demeanor is vanishing. I was so involved in my book that I didn't notice Shadow pass back through the library car. Honest! When Vector returned, he even had to tap me on the shoulder to get my attention. Yeah, I think I remember doing that. <laughs> I must avenge my friend's death. So I'll ask you again, SPL. If you weren't there for Shadow to see you reading, then how did you leave the library car? I wasn't. I didn't. That doesn't seem right to me. Tails definitely feels like he's onto something, but I don't see it. Was this feel simply sitting reading? Or did he somehow vanish not know the shadows return to the library car? What should I do? Uh... I don't know, what the hell is going on here? Hmm... <clears throat> I don't know. His, his, cool, his cool demeanor started vanishing after <laughs> Tails said that. I feel like if he was truly confident in his answer, he would just still be like, what? Why are you saying this? You know? It feels a little mm -hmm. odd. I'm going to save just in case, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to join Tails on this one. No, I can't interrupt Tails if he's on to something. I'll let him continue this line of questioning and... <laughs> I swear to god, dude, these fucking conductor flashbacks. <laughs> He's... I don't remember. I'm starting to think he never actually said any of these things. <laughs> Zero, my favorite and beloved employee. Please, protect the passengers aboard this train. They must be taken care of. If you fail, the lawsuits will be torturous. Don't allow such an old feeble soul to get sued. <laughs> what? Have to make sure our guests are taken care of. I have to speak up. Tails! We have a piece of evidence that can answer all of our problems. Alright, my fellow associate. Lay it on me. A piece of evidence shows Shadow and Espio couldn't have seen one another. Okay, so basically, my my choice didn't matter. It was basically a but thou must. Because <laughs> they didn't see each other. We can look at the library map. I think. See, it kind of looks like the DDLC's lines aren't as broad. I'll say that. Yeah, I know it looks like. That. Yeah, see, see, see. So take back, you were making fun of me. I wasn't. I wasn't saying it didn't look like it. I was just saying that's how. <laughs> That's how Russo tied you out of that game. Bro. Literally. Huh! Oh, I can jump over these. Give me these rings. Huh! Maybe, maybe zero. Huh! No! <laughs> oh my okay, you only lose some of your rings. Okay. They go by uh, Sonic Mania giant blue coin physics. <laughs> and giant blue ring physics. I say Sonic Mania, but that actually first appeared in Knuckles Chaotix. Haha. Uh -huh. Who the fuck played that? <laughs> <laughs> a total of like 20 people. <laughs> yeah. Don't make fun of the people who love Knuckles Chaotix, bro. All right. Nobody likes Knuckles Chaotix. Nobody. Somebody out there. That is their favorite Sonic game. And you're Chat, being very does mean. any, do any of you actually enjoy Knuckles Chaotix? Have you even played Knuckles Chaotix actually? <laughs> is that even a real game? Never played it. <laughs> I don't even know what that is. See. Mm. Oh. The library map? Oh! Oh, I see! See the exits? They're right across from one another. Straight path. Shadow walked down this straight path. There's a way Espio and Shadow couldn't have seen one another. Looks like I have to point out where exactly on the map you mean. Where could Espio have been found have been for Shadow to not see him? Shit. Uh okay, so Shadow comes from what here? What are my options? Alright. So if Espio's right here. No. He couldn't I mean if his if his back's facing towards it. Wait, I need I need to know which door is which now. I don't know which one's the exit. Oh no, right here. Okay, no, right here is the chairman's door. Okay, so that door is where Shadow leaves is the left door. You guys can't see my mouse. I'm using my mouse to point on the thing. You guys do not see it. <laughs> uh okay, so Shadow is going through that door. So Shadow to walk through all the way in the middle. 
if he's right here, that's a perfect. You would perfectly see him. I want to say he'll be right here. Nah, never mind. This is walk through like where would I No, right there. Could it be right here in this little tiny corner? Wait, actually, wait. Wow, where is that chair facing? The chair's facing over there. That chair's facing over here. Oh wait, this chair's facing up, right here. What? But he's looking over there. <laughs> I hate us, <SPL. laughs> Again. I hate this. Wait. Oh, I can pick a shelf. Oh, I thought I could only pick tables. I just remembered I could pick a shelf. Oh. That's a bookcase. <laughs> That's a bookcase. Yep. I think Shadow of Notice Vespio was climbing on one of those while he walked through the library car. <laughs> no, man. No, he no, 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 no. The bookcase is good. He lo loves. Vespio loves bookcases. So why can I click on the shelves? Why can't I click on the funny. bookcases? Why would they just let me click on the bookcases, but they're not the... Oh, wait, this. What the fuck? What? This is completely different than the rest of them. That's also a bookcase. Damn it! It looked like a different bookcase, because it has, like, a weird fucking shadow on it. No, that's just a two bookcases back to back, to back. Why would they do this to me? <laughs> All right, hold up. Let, let me funny. actually understand this without just, you know, blindly, like, picking where to go. All right, so... This is the chair. So the whole point is that, is there a history? There is not a history. No. Nope. <laughs> not a true visual novel. So one is because because this is where we are right here. And Shadow walks in and he's like, do, 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 do. And he walks through the middle and then he leaves. So Espio has to be sitting somewhere to where he does not see Shadow walk in the middle at all. Would it not be this be chair? It would be that table because the bookshelf is blocking him. Oh yeah, there is a bookshelf. <laughs> Why is there? <laughs> Why is there a bookshelf some, right here? Some li some libraries have like closed up space. I was like, I just noticed. Why is there just a bookshelf right here? I thought I clicked this before though. Oh, I didn't. What? I thought I did. I didn't click it because I thought I clicked it before. Did I not click that one? I guess not. I thought I clicked, because that's where I was like, oh no, I clicked that. And I was like, well, I didn't? I thought I clicked that one. All right, well then, yeah, that's where he was. Interesting. That's where I was sitting. Re that, that That's where I was sitting reading my book. I can second this. When I returned from the saloon car, Espio was in the same spot. That confirms it then. You see, Shadow and Espio couldn't have seen one another from this spot. Because a bookcase is in the way. There's no way Shadow could have seen Espio or vice versa. Makes a lot of sense why he never mentioned Shadow's return, SBL. There's just no way you could have seen him. I apologize for losing my cool back there. I felt like I was grasping despite telling the truth. But I'm glad you all believe me now. Your alibi is the most airtight, but I have no further points. Thank you both for answering all your questions. All our questions. We did it. Another pair of, al another pair of alibis validated. Yeah! <laughs> da, 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 da. Louis. What? Oh, uh, Louis. Get out of here, Louis. Oh, no. Don't be mean to Louis. Fuck Louis. <laughs> More like. Looks like Ace Detective Zero did it again. <laughs> More like Zero Ace Defective. <laughs> yep. Too many locked doors to worry about. But I'm glad everything straightened itself out in the end. Well, I'm exhausted. I'm gonna crash here for a bit. These chairs are so comfy. Likewise, I could use a breather. Sadly, our work isn't done. I have plenty of questions for Rouge and especially Shadow. Oh, so the door to the next car is open. Amy must have kept it open when she passed through earlier. And that's our clue. That's our cue to leave. See you later, Vector SBL. Give him heck. And if you need any meat chopped up, say the word. I'll keep no. my poetry sharp for you both. A murderer is on the loose while, door, while doors keep getting locked. Tick tock, tick tick tock goes the clock while our heroes are in the caboose. <laughs> At this point, I'm feeling pretty confident in our detective abilities. We're really doing this. Come on, Zero. Let's see what's next. Coming. Yeah, let's go. Because we're detective heroes. 
The mystery calls, or maybe now, maybe wait, hold up, maybe now I can look at the Professor Pickle painting. No. No. Oh, mystery calls. Let's go, Tails. Never mind, I clicked the wrong thing. Let's go, Tails. <laughs> Let's go, Tails. Casino car. It's casino. Oh my God! Look at that chow. Monica, you got sunglasses and a mustache. You do. Well, this stuff's getting heavy. I'll dump what I don't need. Rouge! There you are. We have a lot to say to you. We visited every train car so far, and everyone said they've seen you wandering about. Yeah, now you're gambling! <laughs> She's like, what? I'm gonna drink some water. Tails' voice hurts my throat. <laughs> <laughs> Tails needs an easier voice to do. <laughs> I mean, it's easy. It's just it hurts after a while. Or it makes my throat dry. That's what it is. It doesn't hurt. It just it makes my throat dry. Because he's all like, Rouge! Ah! <laughs> is that Chow Walter White? <laughs> <laughs> we gotta cook! That's right. We gotta cook, Sonic. <laughs> Sonic! <laughs> You're dead, Sonic! He goes to the other child and he's like, We gotta cook! And he's like, Chow! <laughs> <laughs> yes, we do! It's high time you told us why! My, my, talk about a warm welcome. Quick to the point, aren't you, darling? And I see you brought the microwave master with you. Oh. Uh, please don't let that be my legacy! <laughs> Tells us right. Books have brought you up a lot. Care to explain? Uh... Tell him, Rouge. We're gonna need the help. Please? Alright, I've been hunting for a treasure rumored to be stored here on the train. Okay. Treasure? They certainly didn't tell me about treasure in the interview. Since I'm part business tycoon, part purveyor of fine collectibles, I knew I had to find it. Tell him what it is, Rouge. <laughs> Alright, well... A, a, a Faberge? Faberge? Probably Faberge. Faberge. Oh, I have to say Faberge. Is that what it is? That's 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 that fancy. It's like a it's like a yeah, it's like fancy eggs you can get. The Chow egg. What is a Faberge Chow egg? What is the Chow coming out it's looking like, like? Gonna be all gold? I don't know. It's a Faberge Chow egg. Wow, that does sound extravagant. But please don't tell me you accepted Amy's birthday invite only to find that egg. The woman can have multiple goals. I gave Amy her birthday present already, so everything's well taken care of. She wrote me in on the hunt immediately. I stayed here while she searched the train cars for clues. I deducted that the Fabergé Chow egg is here, in this train car, locked in a safe. Wait, so the treasure's real? It's actually here? And what did you manage to find, Rouge? Oh, well, why don't you both take a look? I found the train's blueprints in the library car, with the safe code written right on it. The score of a lifetime. The train's blueprints? Please, Rouge, let us see that. Uh-uh-uh, finders keepers, sweetheart. There's a problem. We need your assistance. What kind of problem? The elevator behind the security guard leads us right to the room holding the Fabergé Chow egg. But we're not getting anywhere without the guard's access card. We need a plan to get that card to use the elevator, and our chance of success grows with everyone's help. So, you want us to help you steal the Chow egg? Blaze, you don't have a problem with this? I see no issues here. Sounds like a fine business <laughs> venture. Ah. Our lore card must be influencing her decision here. Either that, or breaking the rules must be refreshing for a princess. <laughs> Zero, do you have an opinion on this? Stealings for squares! It's time for a five-finger discount! <laughs> yeah, it's time for a f I mean, the, the conductor did say I've got to help out all the people to make sure they're happy. <laughs> Well, I suppose if both Blaze and Zero are in. Okay, let's get that Fabergé Chow Egg. 
<laughs> That's the ticket. Happy to have you both on the team. Now, we must plan. Oh boy, what have we gotten ourselves into? What is this? A chalk and chalkboard? <laughs> oh, it's us! <ice. laughs> huh? It's got a little, 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 little look at us. <laughs> yeah, see, look. Oh my god, he's got like a little cute tail. Oh, you know he doesn't. That's Rouge. <laughs> my guy's on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's Rouge's bat wing. I'm on the ground. I'm like, <laughs> Access the Fabergé Chow egg room is behind a locked elevator door. The security guard has the access card. Do we attack the guard, bribe the guard, or distract the guard? Let's attack him. <laughs> I'm gonna pick all the bad answers because I want to see something funny. I can't say I'm comfortable attacking a Chow. <laughs> <laughs> Let's keep violence to a minimum, shall we? Less fun, but I agree. Let's think about it again. <laughs> bribe the guard. Do not have anything we'd use for a bribe? I have a pair of tweezers. Ooh, here's a trading card. I'm not giving you anything. <laughs> <laughs> Any bribe isn't the way to go. <laughs> Distract the guard. Distract them, perfect. We're all charming enough for that to work. That was actually a really nice thing to say. Zero, is everything okay? I've never seen you smile like that. Seems they don't know how to take a compliment. <laughs> if I'm gonna be a casino, my poker face needs work. <laughs> what were you gonna say, Monica? I said that's weird. Is this implying that Rouge would throw hands at the chow? Rouge would do anything to get fucking treasure, so yes, I'm not surprised if she, sure she would beat up a chow. <laughs> yeah. Okay, who's distracting the security guard? Uh, <laughs> Bruges. <laughs> the wrong answer. <laughs> of course I'll distract them. Oh, never mind. Damn it! That's the right answer. What? No! I should have said tails. <laughs> Bruges can fly. Oh, wow, well, tails can fly. Too. I thought Rouge would want to be a part of getting the treasure, so I'm like, damn it! I thought the distraction would be Blaze because she was on the bottom, but now I think about it, Blaze would be a terrible distraction. <laughs> Who could resist my feminine charms? Oh, never mind. <laughs> oh, no, that was the wrong answer. <laughs> I'm not sure how effective your charms will be on a chow. <laughs> Plus, your flight might prove useful. I'm not sure you being the distraction makes sense. Oh, well, fair enough. Let's think it over again. So once again, Thanks. uh... Yes, yeah, so I guess this is the wrong answer. So I'm saving just in case. I want to make sure we click the wrong answer. <laughs> Sure, I, I could be the distraction. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought you said that. <laughs> I love Blaze. Why, why is Blaze so good at this? What the fuck? <laughs> we need, I, I need more of Blaze. <laughs> why is she here, but Silver's not here? <laughs> because Silver's from... Silver only showed up when times were in peril. Blaze is just from a different dimension, so she can just show up okay. whenever. Technically. <laughs> I don't like the way he said that. Vito. <laughs> I'm with Blaze. The delivery was shaky. Huh. No, really. I could do it. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. But I think we'll be better off elsewhere. <laughs> he's just like... He's just... I don't like the way he said that, Vito. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Think you could distract the guard, Blaze? In my life, I've never let a single person down. I won't falter. Okay. G great! Her voice was so stoic. I have chills. <laughs> well, I trust her. Moving on. What's the distraction? Uh, pretend the claw machine is stuck. <laughs> Ask the chow about their partner and kids. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> There's no way that's th so far the bottom ones have been the answer. There is no way that's the answer. What? It is? But it's a chow! Oh my god! He has partner and kids! Okay, well then hold on. <laughs> Dead the claw machine is stuck. Oh wait, they actually have drawings for all these. I didn't even notice. <laughs> yeah, they do. Who puts a claw machine in a casino? So what great is the distraction? What? That's gambling. Oh, so it doesn't matter. Oh, wait. All of these are right. 
Oh, all of these oh. are, co are, 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 are correct. I can pick which one I want to do. I want the wife and kids one. That sounds funny. Yeah, it sounds funny. <laughs> Ask about the wife and kids sounds funny. <laughs> I want the wife and kids. That's hilarious. Look at all of them. The chow has a family. I was about to say, this chow fucks. Excellent. People love talking about themselves. This will easily distract the guard. <laughs> Perfect. I think we can move on then. With the guard distracted, Rouge, how do we get the access card? Uh, <laughs> ask for the card. <laughs> no harm in asking, right? Oh, you naive, innocent soul. <laughs> Such a fresh face, this one. <laughs> so cute. Do you suggest we, ta we, we take the guard out shoe shopping next? I don't think Chow's wear shoes. <laughs> These ladies are ruthless. I rethink this. Uh, pick their pocket. Grab them and fly up to the rafters. <laughs> I don't know. I don't want any violence. There won't be any violence. I'll just tie them up to the rafter. Easy. Where do we get the rope? An interesting point. Maybe we should try something else. <laughs> pick their pocket. I'll snatch the access key, no problem. That chow in uniform won't notice a thing. Excellent. We can count on you, Rouge. Try not to take anything else from them, if you can help it. No promises. With the card obtained, we need to get Blaze out of there. Zero, what's your plan? Uh... Say there's a drink without a coaster! Push him over! <laughs> Push the security guard over! <laughs> I don't know why I was just imagining him running in and just pushing over Push the shell. Push down! <laughs> just, oh! They just fall over. Mr. President! <laughs> Mr. President, get down! <laughs> I'm still not comfortable with any violence here. It's just a little push. That child's low to the ground. It won't hurt. But if they start crying, it'd bring unwanted attention to No! Them. Why is someone who cries so easily a security guard? <laughs> because all chows cry, they can't help it. But why yeah, listen, but why would you make a chow your security guard? Because he's guarding the chow egg. <gasps> they're, they're, they're the only ones who know how know how to guard a chow egg. The guarding isn't that hard, you have to just stand there. They just, they just want to make sure that they're fit for the profession if it's such a if it's such a treasure. Yeah, wait, yeah, Zero. He has a family. You're true, we can't push him down. He has a wife and kids. Yeah, he'll die. He'll fucking die. Decent point. Let's think of something else. Say there's a drink without a coaster. Absolutely <laughs> vile. I can think of nothing worse. I have two drinks on my desk without coasters right now. Despicable. I would never allow such a thing in my kingdom. <laughs> the guard will go running immediately. I'm sure of it. Oh, that was the answer! <laughs> no. Hold on, ask him about his kids. And then snatch the key. And then pretend your blaze is well, why did I actually think that would be the answer? <laughs> pretend your blaze a spouse. Then you'd be marrying into the royal family. What is your heritage? Any war crimes I should know about? What? Well <gasps> I um You dress far too plain. You would need a complete refashioning immediately. Uh you know what? Maybe we should try something else. Interesting. You give up far too easily as well. We'd have to work on your fortitude. I said we'll try something else! <laughs> <laughs> I am not your husband, and I will never be. Please stop. Great. And with the guard distracted, we all head to the elevator. And just like that, we all make it to the, in the elevator. Inside, we... Celebrity Tatori Dance! <laughs> oh my god, yeah! We're getting down! <laughs> I want to see the other ones. <laughs> take the pocket. This is why it's going to take a lot longer to get this done. He's going to go through everything. I want to do the day. I want to see the other ones. <laughs> Pop some apple cider. Yeah, I'm assuming they're all right. I just wanted to see it. <laughs> the cider. Sing victory acapella. <laughs> 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 this one's funnier. Now that's a proper victory! 
Oh no, one last security measure we didn't account for. What do we do about the mechanical arms attacking from the ceiling? Oh my god, look at my oh. look at our eyes! Ah! Uh. Um, high five each of them. Give them high fives. The end of those arms are claws. I'm not touching them. My high fives aren't given away willy nilly. They are to be cherished. <laughs> I don't think my hands will survive a high five from them. Let's rethink this. They all humored my suggestion. Oddly polite of them. Uh, uh, tie them all in one big knot. <laughs> my shoes don't have laces. Does anyone here know how to tie a knot? Yes. Well, no. Um, I can, but I gotta sing a little song while I do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna step in here and veto this. Let's think of something else. Guess someone didn't want to hear my song. <laughs> <laughs> Why does he want to hear my little song? Because he just copied it from Spongebob. <laughs> you do it's a like loop de loop pample, and your shoes are looking good. <laughs> you want to learn how to tie your shoes? He needs, a, he needs a song to learn how to tie a knot. Not just tying <laughs> shoes, tying a knot. A first step to tying your shoelaces. It's it is just a knot. Let them down, let me give you the scoop. Oh, what's the that? Amount. It's called a loop de loop. The amount of people who actually cannot tie knots actually kind of surprises me, though. Do you know how to tie a knot? You make a loop de loop and You pull. answer me now, and mister. And your shoes are looking good. You go See over and back, left and right. There's no way you know the tune, but you don't know how to tie and your you shoes. hold them tight, like bunny ears or a Christmas bowl. Lace them up and you're ready to go. You make a loop de loop bamboo, and your shoes are looking good. Sorry. I was already Do you know how to roll. tie your knot or not? Yes! You sure? Yes! How do you do it then? <laughs> I'm not going to sit here and describe it. You're not going knot. to explain it because you're lying! No, I'm not! <laughs> I'm legitimately not. I just I want to continue now because we've been false for so long. That's also, your fault. You said so it. How do you explain a knot? Like, what? What do you mean? That's you just explain it and tie a knot. Huh? You explain it then, if it's so easy to explain. Like, what the fuck are you gonna, explain I don't want words? to explain it because you're just gonna use my explanation oh my for yours God. because you don't actually know. <laughs> Even chat's like, you do it, Monica. <laughs> I can't because then that's just gonna give him the answer. What do you mean? I don't know how to fucking die. I just don't know how to explain it right now. <laughs> like, how the fuck do you explain tying a knot? Bro. Coward. Monica's a coward trying to push it on to everybody else. I, uh, fine, I'll explain it. You take no, a, I you don't want to. I want to continue the story of the game. <laughs> <laughs> That's also why I didn't continue to explain it. I want to go back to the fucking thing. Go back to the. Thing. Just believe him, Monica. That's apparently too hard. She can't believe me. She no, never believes no. me. No, I need to know. I need to know he's a liar. I should be able to disengage them. I just need some time. Well, that leads us nicely to our next question. Oh no, Tails is taking, a, is taking a while while the arms are tightening their grip. Uh, cry and hope they sympathize. <laughs> Tails, <laughs> oh, it's just, I guess you probably anything is right. Imagine you're not in pain. Pretend there's nothing wrong. It doesn't really matter what I put. Tails managed to do it. Darlings, I'm happy to say this plan is perfect. If everyone's ready, it's time to execute. I'm ready. Let's begin. All right, let's see what's up that elevator. Oh my god. Dun, 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 dun. I knew the plan would go off without a hitch. We couldn't have made it this far without you both. You have my gratitude. Our planning beforehand was very thorough, I must admit, and it was executed to perfection. Enough chatter. Now we claim our real prize. I have the safe code right here on those on these blueprints. Let's claim our Fabergé chow egg. <laughs> Which safe? <laughs> uh, what, what, what's right here? What could they possibly be storing in all these? Oh, there's multiple. This is the casino car. I suppose it's all expensive gems and gold. Maybe rings too. 
rings, you can find those lying about in the grass. That's of no interest to us. Let's focus on the real prize, shall we? Right, we gotta find the safe with the Fabergé chow egg inside. Oh man, I wonder, I wonder which, one. which one it is. <laughs> no question, this has got to be the safe with our treasure. Enter in the code on the blueprints and find out, Rouge. On it, sweetheart. Let's see. 230401. Oh, wow! It's here! <laughs> I have it! Alright, before anyone sees us, let's get out of here. Hold on, kiddo. We can't be so hasty. You truly think that's all there is to this egg? No further secrets whatsoever? Rouge, spit it out. What are you hiding? Only three of these eggs were ever made, each hiding their own individual secret. No one knows the secret because anyone who's opened one of these has never lived to tell the tale. You can open the egg? You sure can, and all of you will bear witness to its secret. There's a chow in it. Rouge, I don't know if you should... All you need to do is a twist it. Oh. <laughs> tick, tick, tick. Maybe that's why. Because it's a bomb. Uh-oh. Rouge, has no one lived to tell the egg secret? Because each egg is a bomb? <laughs> I think you're onto something, kid. It sure sounds like a bomb. <laughs> we need to dispose of that egg. Now. Dispose of it? After all our hard work? Rouge? <laughs> fine, fine. But what do we do? Where do I put this thing? That's an excellent question. What do we do with a bomb? Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Ah! Which one? Ah! Oh god! Twist the egg again! Take one for the team! Here! Give it to me! Get, get as fast as we as far away from me as possible! Just remember me as I am a hero! No! Zero! We won't let you do that! I mean, if that's what they want, who are we to. Stop the mic- stop. The microwave kid's obviously not going to sacrifice them themselves. Their body's far too scrawny to contain any sort of blast. I was actually gonna mention True. that earlier. How this character seems to be, like, gender fluid. Let's think of something else quickly. People who play it. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> you scored. Uh, uh. Miss the egg again! Where was chaos control? Oh, it's- it's on near the bottom. Chaos control the egg. Where did you hear about chaos control? It doesn't matter. We need a chaos emerald to be able to do that. Well, dang it! Uh. Tell the egg to stop! <laughs> <laughs> Tell the egg to stop. Stop! No. Nope. That did nothing. I can't believe I just did that. <laughs> uh, 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 eat the egg. Now without any salt, I won't. Really, Zero? Probably a poor time for jokes, huh? Uh, open it up and see if there's wires to cut. What do you mean by this? You know, red wire, blue wire, you gotta cut one, like the movies. This isn't a movie, Zero. This is real life. No, oh, he's got not. a good point. Uh, 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 let Rouge kiss the egg. It's as they say, love always prevails. <laughs> I still hear the ticking. <laughs> hmm, what a prude. <laughs> uh, uh, that blaze set the egg on fire. Me. Call me crazy, but perhaps fire and explosives shouldn't mix. You don't think fire would neutralize the blast? You just like to say things, don't you, Zero? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe! <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Call it in the elevator! All right, down it goes. We're clearly not going to blow up the elevator. Let's rethink this. Flip the egg upside down. Zero, what's flipping it going to do? I don't know, try it. <laughs> it worked. N nothing. Oh. Happy? Yes. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, smash against the wall. All right, here goes nothing. No. Rouge. We, uh, should probably think of a different plan. Stomp on the egg. Just how I like my eggs. Smushed. Gross. I'm guessing you don't like this idea. 
Obviously not. Uh, rocket to sleep. So you think this egg is just cranky and needs a nap? Yes. Is that what you're telling us? Everyone's always mad at the idea, guy. Uh, <laughs> well, that tail's cooling down with his tails. Cool the bomb down with your tails, like a fan. Worth a try. I still hear ticking. Or refreshing the breeze, maybe. Hmm. Okay, new plan. I'm assuming we just have to twist it again. <laughs> Throw and lock it in the safe. <laughs> Quick, put the egg back, Rouge! Okay, fine, it's going back in. Tails, the safe will lock. The door's staying open. What? Close the door and twist the dial! I obviously am. There must be some weird way to relock the door. There's no other buttons or dials. How are you supposed to... We don't have time to mess with this. Think of something else. Let's finish taking and see what happens. <laughs> I'm assuming the answer is twisting it, but I'm not sure. I feel like it's not. Are you insane? Do you want us to just blow up? We need to dispose of the bomb, Zero. That is our goal. <laughs> listen, listen. I get that. But what if the egg isn't a bomb? Wait, that's right. Zero, I think you're on to something. Okay, well then. Twist it again. Great idea. Stop, stop. It's clearly not working. Let's think of something else. <laughs> there you <we> go. <laughs> Wait, that's right. Zero, I think you're on to something. Huh? What's right? Spit it out, kiddo. We don't have any time. Sorry, it's just... Espio did say something interesting when we quizzed him about the train's manual. Okay, um, what efficient, extremely accurate technology was installed to assist in keeping the train spotless? Robotic arms. During events, they can perform a variety of tasks and are responsible for cleaning up trash and messes afterwards. The robotic arms can also detect weapons or explosives being brought onto the train, ensuring passenger safety. Those robot arms that attacked us in the elevator seem to have a lot of functions here on the train. If a bomb was brought on the train disguised as a Fabergé Chow egg, the arms would have detected it and wouldn't have allowed it on. The only the person who knows the coming and going of the train is the conductor, and he surely wouldn't allow such a thing either. So if we're out of options, I think we should just wait and see what happens. What if a Chow pops out? <laughs> yeah, a Chow's gonna come out. Okay, we wait. Okay. It's a vicious chow. It rips your head off. Oh. The egg! It opened! It's hollow, not a bomb at all. Oh. You both really were onto something. You! My, my. Well, that's one way to get the heart racing. I'm completely relieved. My hunch was right, thankfully. Um, Ian, talks, look what's clocks, inside! Clocks tick too, though they're not bombs. <laughs> oh, 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 it's a keychain. That's that is really cute. Wow, look at that sparkle, and it's so heavy too. And the final secret to the Fabergé Chow egg is a Chow covered in gems. It's perfect. It's exquisite. It's revolutionary. Is she drooling over a sparkly ornament? Well, I must admit, it is stunning. You said no one lived to tell the Fabergé Chow egg's secret. I wonder why if the egg wasn't a bomb. Because they weren't as tough as us. I don't know. Who cares? <laughs> what a precious treasure. A beauty to behold. Maybe the other two were bombs. <laughs> maybe. Maybe they naturally died of old age and just kept the secret with them. Yeah, maybe. As much fun as this been, we should get out of here before we're spotted. Good call. Let's go. I'm assuming we don't have to interrogate them. No one seems to suspect anything. The security guard is back at their post. They subdued the drink coaster fiend, okay? <laughs> Thank you both for your assistance. That hunt was exactly the thrill I was seeking. Stealing was strangely fun, but I'd prefer to never do it again. Now, Rouge. Rouge? He's completely absorbed in that bedazzled chow. Wait, what? What? What is it, darling? About those blueprints, now that you're done with them, maybe we could take a look? Well, I appreciate your assistance. It's as I said, finders keepers. 
I'll need them a little longer in case I missed any other treasures, but I promise to let you take a peek later. I don't want to sound ungrateful, but I'm sure you get it, sweetheart. You can't just add sweetheart to the end of a sentence to make things <laughs> better. But I don't think there's any reasoning with her. She's more powerful than me. Well, we'll get out of your way for now, then. We have a murder mystery to attend to. Before you go, Shadow gave me and Rouge one of these. He passed through earlier. Let me unlock the door so you can continue forward. You know, we've had a lot of people mention you, Rouge. But we also have just as much a suspicion about Shadow. <laughs> He's unpredictable, that one. Good luck to you. The door is unlocked. Both of you stay safe. Thanks again. Will do! Come on, Zero! Let's head out! Gotcha. The mystery continues. What are you doing? The capabilities of these robot arms are quite spectacular. I'm impressed every time we see them. I can't help but wonder how they're controlled. I don't know. The conductor was ordering it around a bit earlier. At the very least, things operate much smoother with them here. I wouldn't worry about it. Yeah, that is true. They're very versatile. Yeah. Look at this dude. Yeah, he's so angry. <laughs> hmm. Should I give the slot machine a try? We can gamble! Gamble time! Play the slots! Let's see. Big money, big money. Well, I lost. Can I try again? Yes! yes. Come on. No, no, no. We're gonna win eventually. No, eventually we'll win. <laughs> <laughs> it's slots, Tails! Zero, what do you expect to happen if you keep playing? Big money? I'm gonna get it this time, you'll see! Yeah, I lost, maybe next <laughs> time I'll get it! Do it again! Big money, big money! Da 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 da! Got this! We got this! <laughs> oh! What no! I skipped it! No! He's just coming with the definition of insanity. Ah! Uh, to go through uh, all this again. I didn't mean to click that. Ah! Uh, this isn't a real visual novel. We don't have a skip button. If you hold space, it skips. Oh no, it doesn't. You just do this. Hey! Uh, we gotta do it for the dialogue. Casino dialogue, big money, big money! <laughs> big money, big money! This won't be a problem if they had a history. <laughs> they should have made this on Rempai. <laughs> Alright, now I'm gonna save. I'm gonna restart my Animal Crossing town. Yeah, well, I'm gonna get big money. Okay. Big money! Don't spam it, don't spam it. You know the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over, expecting a different outcome, right? I'm starting to get worried here. <laughs> don't worry, Tails, I got it this time! No, 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 we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. Have you ever heard of the sunk cost fallacy? The sunk cost fallacy? The phenomenon whereby a person is reluctant to abandon a strategy or course of action because they have interested heavily in it, even when it is clear that the, aban <laughs> the abandonment would be more beneficial? That's me with shiny Pokemon. Of course I've heard of it. Why do you ask? <laughs> no reason. Alright, big money, big money! <laughs> uh, I'll be over here when you decide you're done. Alright, big money, big money! <laughs> Please tell me that there's, like, a small chance that you do win. I don't think there's anything else left here. Come on. I don't think there's anything here, because Tails left. No. I don't think there's anything here. I just reloops the script to come over and over. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is relooping. There is nothing else here. No. Big money, big money! Okay, uh, there's nothing. Oh, thank oh, the goodness! <laughs> I really thought I lost you there for a second. <laughs> yeah, let's go. We go back to the slots. <laughs> back to the slots. Click it again. Does he say something if I do it again? He does not. Okay. Dad, I can talk to them. Thanks again for your help earlier. Now what can I do for you, darlings? Are you hungry? A lot of poultry menu. Not a lot of options, sweetie. I think I'll have to pass. 
Not a problem, so I'm gonna need something later. Sure, if I need a bag of chips, I'll holler. Pulling off that heist was much more enjoyable than the rest of these casino games. Uh, gotta take your order. Calm content for now, thank you. The whole maybe the egg is a bomb thing destroyed my appetite. <laughs> yeah, I was nervous myself. We could tell. You sweat out of your uniform pretty often. <laughs> yeah, you're a very, um, animated person. Wow. Gross. I'll say, what's your alibi, Blaze? Do you think you can go over your alibi again for us, Blaze? When Amy began the murder mystery, what did you do? Sure, we left the dining car, and Rouge pulled me aside to talk about the Fabergé Chow egg. We walked and talked over to the casino car, where we then went our separate ways. I scoped around and discovered the egg was here. After that, I played the slot machines. I trained at a sun jolt, which was odd, but I didn't leave the car. I gave Amy her present when she stopped by. Shadow passed through as well, but it was brief. He gave me the exit key and left. Interesting. Do you have any sort of proof you were here playing the slots? I do, actually. I kept winning, <gasps> so I saved the cash out voucher. You can take a look. Let's see here. But 14,000 credits? Th that's an enormous payout. How did you... I'm just naturally lucky, I suppose. That's smirk. She's so self-aware. Well, th thank you for your time, Blaze. Anytime, Entails. Do tell Cream I said hi, won't you? Of course, can do. Oh, that's cute. They reference Cream. Oh. That's Cute. adorable. Bro, they ever reference Marine? Who? <laughs> From Sonic Rush Adventure. What? <laughs> These are video games. It's, uh, oh, Marine is dead. There's no way. He's just saying random video game titles. Uh, Marine is dead and will never be mentioned in a video game ever again. <laughs> you are going to say Maria. I was like, well, I mean, she's dead, so... Do you think you go over your alibi again for us, Rouge? And Amy began the murder mystery. What did you do? Well, once Amy paired Blaze and I up, I immediately roped her in on my Fabergé chow egg hunt. We split up at the casino car and I went searching for the blueprints. I went back to the library and saloon cars till I found it in the library car. Did you see Sonic at all during your search? Sonic? No, I don't believe so. I remember him in the dining car at the beginning. Do you have anything to support that claim? Listen, plenty of people saw me poking around, and I have the blueprints on me. I hardly had time to chase Sonic down, murder him, and find the blueprints myself. We appreciate you answering our questions, Rouge. You take care now. Likewise, darling. Alright, I think that's- Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Eggman's built a lot of casinos to run around in. But I never actually sat down to play any for fun. Oh, wanna play J Blackjack? Yeah. <laughs> Ready for some Hold'em? I only know how to play ba Blackjack. I don't know how to play Hold'em. Wanna play Blackjack? I don't know how to play that. What? Tails is just counting! <laughs> it's easy. Let me show you. Zero, we simply don't have time for this. We must, we must avenge Sonic. Probably a good point. <laughs> Can you play the claw machine? No. No! <laughs> <gasps> Time to check again. Tails, we must search the trash bin. <sighs> it's empty. Oh. 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 D did, I, did I hear no? I've always believed in a thorough investigation, even peeking in the trash. See, it's about persistence, Tails. <laughs> my dad told me that when he met my <laughs> mother, he would drive her to work two hours away every Tuesday with a flower from his garden. <laughs> she quickly agreed to a date, and when she arrived at the restaurant, she found two dozen roses waiting for her. Within a year, those two were married. It's about caring, dedication, and persistence. <laughs> that's, um, very sweet, but all that's in the bin is a lollipop stick. Uh... Lollipop stick? Yeah, like the leftover stick from a lollipop. That's all that's there. Zero? <laughs> Zero is everything. <laughs> <laughs> so hard. He's distraught. <laughs> so hard to keep a fucking straight face on reading this. <laughs> Zero? Zero, is everything okay? Do you need me to bring you a flower? <laughs> Just leave me be. <laughs> So There'll be something in there one day, I promise. <laughs> He's so broken. 
<laughs> it reminds me of that fucking line for Persona Q2, where fucking uh, <laughs> Elizabeth has like a, has like a, like a fucking like really gaudy like a movie outfit. And she's like wearing the fucking like popcorn outfit. So she's got like a bunch of 3D glasses. They're like a really dumb looking outfit. And the Joker's like, is there? Is there can I wear that outfit too? <laughs> she's like, sorry, I don't think I have an extra one. And then <laughs> Ryuji's like, sad. Ryuji's like, why would you wanna? Why would you ask to wear something like that anyway? And why do you look so sad that she said? No! Joker's <laughs> gonna cry. He's like, I don't he, was just, he looked so he was so sad that he couldn't wear an outfit. <laughs> Alright, it's time for us to go. I need it's to time go for me get to going. Go. Where are you going? Oh, you PRB. I want no I didn't yet. I wanna go. Um have a bath. Wait, wait for your bath. At least you have to I think we're at the end, we're at the front shadow. He's the final oh, guest. Oh. Okay, I just wanted to go just in case I ran out of time too. No, it, it's but... okay. I think there's the final one. It's only its shadow. I'll give it till 11:30. I'm sure it'll be done by then. Oh, look at the chow! The chows. Oh yeah. Well, they don't I... have to play instrument. I guess they just. Oh, I didn't check if I could change the screen. Whoops! I didn't check a little window. What? I can like change little windows up here. <laughs> Remember like the things that say stuff. Oh, Amy's mad at him. Yeah, she's pissed. I know you won't talk, but I know exactly why you've been locking those doors! It's hard to get a word in as you talk over me. <laughs> I have my reasons, I... No reason is convincing enough. It's inconceivable what you did. Hey, hey, what's going on? Hmm, <laughs> I see you made it here, Tails. But I didn't expect the Iron Chef as well. We'll see what you say when your microwave chili dog is delicious. <laughs> <laughs> I'd also like to know why you've been locking doors throughout the train, Shadow. Well, it seems Amy already knows, so ask her. Hmm. I'm not saying a thing. You lot will have to tell me why. Now, if you could leave me be, I have an appointment coming up. With? An appointment? Who wants to meet with him? <laughs> well, Zero, seems like Shadow is going to talk. Let's do some investigating. All right, ready to find some answers, Tails? Indubitably, my dear Zero. It's the Master Emerald. Presenting the Big Chow Band. Aw. <laughs> Take a beat. Music plant, visit music plant zone. Is it a real zone? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Hey, it's the Big Chow Band. Play us a ditty. Oh. They don't know how to play. Oh. They don't miss. Those child understand music. <laughs> yeah. Yo, play me a new song. Play, give us a jam. Okay. That was spiritual. I feel reawakened. <laughs> that, 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 that is some beautiful music, honestly. They go hard. They're not playing this background music. <laughs> There's another robot arm just doing its thing. As an employee, do you have any power over these arms? Can you tell it to do something? Oh, no, but I'll give it a shot. Hey, robotic arm, can you give me a high five? <laughs> it doesn't seem to be listening to you. But I can give you a high five. Oh, oh sweet. <laughs> Yay, we got a high five from yeah. Tails. <laughs> Let's see if we can give him a chaos, a chaos Cola. Nope, not listen to me. Quite parched, too. I could run and get a Chaos Cola for you. Uh, no, I'll be all right. Thank you, Tails. I'm the one that's supposed to be working here, after all. Yeah, I was about to say, I'm like, we're the butler. What is that? What is this? Zero, could you open the wardrobe, please? Sure. Wait, is there a reason you want me to do it? What if something falls out? Or worse, someone leaps out. I just think you should do it. Uh, refuse. Tails must open it. <laughs> All right. Tough love. I get it. Here goes nothing. Tails, you gotta face your fears. Ah! Oh, <laughs> just some sweaters. <laughs> See? Not so bad, huh? Just dusty. <laughs> yeah, guess you're right. Boo! Ah! <laughs> Sorry. Couldn't help it. <laughs> Zero! I'm fragile! Oh. He's, he's made of glass. He's, no, he's not. Be mean. He said he was fragile. Seems a printer is hooked up to the computer. 
Can we bring oh something? He found the computer room. Sonic singing a song or Sonic rowing a boat? I want Sonic rowing a boat. Huh, this printer is surprisingly tricky to use. Tricky? Yeah, the user interface isn't very clear. But it won't let it stump me. Oh, that is Sonic riding in a boat. Oh no, the shark! <laughs> it's a little bit more than just Sonic in a boat. <laughs> this is and Sonic being threatened in a boat. By a shark. Yeah. And here you go. Yup, this is exactly what I asked for. Oh, I'll quietly set this back on the printer. All right, I want Sonic singing a song. Oh, I think I remember. It's really that complicated. Have ever had a printer work when you wanted it to? Fair enough. Oh my god, it's him! It's Ian Jr! <laughs> He's back! It looks, like, looks like Sonic. He's back, Ian Jr! <laughs> and there! Worked like a charm. Here you go. He's scary. Hmm. Key. A key ring? Must be Shadows, the locksmith. Interesting, there's only two keys. Figured a locksmith have a bunch. Wanna take it? Yeah, let's take it. Oh, we got some evidence. I told us about this in my interview. The lounge is a computer complete with internet access for casual browsing. How lovely. Seems convenient. It is. It's a shame to be on the computer and missing those deal these gorgeous views, though. I feel like if you're using the computer here, you must really need to use it. Alright. <laughs> and, and there. Oh my god, there it is. The trash! Tails. Tails. <laughs> Tails. No. Tails. I think we should check the trash bin. <laughs> every trash bin has been empty, Zero, and you've been disappointed every time. <laughs> Are you going to get sad again if there's nothing in the trash bin, Zero? There's always, there's always something in the trash bin! <gasps> Come on. <sighs> All right. Let's check the trash bin. What's this? What's in it? <laughs> <laughs> Someone printed out the front page of a ticket website. It's for the band Hot Honey. Interesting. Hot Honey is one of Amy's favorite bands. Who cares what it is? Let's add it to our inventory. <laughs> Are we sure this isn't just trash? Doesn't matter. I'll let you have this. <laughs> There's always success if you check the trash bin! <laughs> Grumpled paper has been added! What does it say? A ball of paper found in the trash bin. I kind of want to see what it is. <laughs> Vindication! <laughs> we found something in the trash bin that wasn't a stick. Actually, we could probably use that to interrogate Amy. Yeah, maybe. Glad you two finally caught up. Did you look at the window? There is nothing to look at the window. But you, you're able to click on the window. No, we're able to click on this portrait. What? We were able to, we were able to click on the portrait with all the little pieces of paper on the far right, not the window. Yeah. No, I thought, I thought you could also click on the window. I thought I saw a little thing go over. I don't think it did. Hmm. I'm surprised it took you so long to get here. I thought you wanted to save Sonic. Been thorough. Do you have any clues for us? Just a hot tip, but all will be revealed in due time. I think I'll be shedding a big light on this whole case. Could you please? I hear sharing is caring. No way. Journalist reporter Amy <laughs> Rose is always first to reveal a scoop. When you're ready to challenge Shadow, talk to him. Then I'll be ready. So curious what it is. Seems confident. We'll hold you to it. All right. Well. Oh, someone told me I can click the window. Here you go. See? Wow, Tails, you have to check this out. Aw. These windows are huge. What a view. It's big! <laughs> what? Oh my god, there he is! There he is! He it's is big. in this game. Big the cat! <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize this train would drive along the coast. Spectacular, isn't it? I just want to hop out and take a dip in the ocean. This train wasn't so nice to be on. I'd agree. Despite the murder lingering in the air. Despite the murder lingering in the air. I just thought the same thing. <laughs> I'm ready to challenge Shadow. Okay. It's over for you, Shadow. 
Why did you come over here? There's nothing I can help either of you with. I ask that you leave me be. Stare. So cold. You know, maybe we'll get out of here, actually. Zero, we certainly will not. <laughs> <laughs> there, I don't think we have all the evidence, because they would have told us. We did. Yeah, sure? okay. okay. We have to look around more. What's the last thing? You only have the squeaking uh. guy. Maybe Amy has something for us, actually. I was about to say, is she gonna give you something, Amy? There's something, there's nothing in the- Oh, wait, what's this? Tails, do you see this? A pull string? Zero! What? It's gotta activate something. What the- The back of the wardrobe opened! What there's the- There's a full passageway back here! Come on, we have to see where this leads! I'm curious. This must mean something big. <gasps> oh, it leads right. back! To the library! This is the library! There's a secret passage from the lounge to the library! I don't believe it. Shh! Quick! Back to the passage! Before they spot us! That's how Shadow got through here! That's how we did it. We need to add that into our inventory. <laughs> now we got him. <laughs> <laughs>